What's, What's up, up, early gang? gang. Early, early good, good morning, morning, gang. How we doing? What's good? Happy Thursday. Can't believe it's Thursday. Really cannot believe it. You'll stay for the boom mic. If there's anything I can offer, it's a boom mic. There's one thing I can I can give back to this world. It's a boom mic. Minerva is still holding you hostage. Oh no, T Bone! We gotta play games. I looked it up, so I gotta leave around ten to get there on time. And I'm really still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch. Do you know? Does John have a plan? We have a plan for lunch. Does Mighty Meeple have food? Is it next to a food place? It's not in the mall, right? It's in like a strip. Look it up. Yeah, I think it's just a retail store. Are we an event on their website? That'd be pretty exciting. It's in a strip. Yeah. Open from 11 to 11. You know, see, I don't know. I might bring lunch. Is that a thing I can do? Can I bring lunch there? Maybe I'll just grab some uh, Moe's or something. But yeah. I don't know, I'm checking their website. That's what I was doing too, but the website was unhelpful. All they tell me about on their website is cards. And then the occasional event. Looks like there's a Magic the Gathering Commander League today. Let's look on their website, or on their Facebook page. I don't think so. I don't think they have food. Oh, they were at Con of the Carolinas. Oh, that's very fun. Gotta love a Comic Con game. T Bone, are you hearing the music okay? Is it too loud, too quiet? I never was able to figure out my headphones. I'm just gonna have to rebuild OBS. We can rebuild it. We have the technology. Just right, perfect. That's what I like to hear. Yep, I got nothing. But I do love a game store. I'm very excited. And I love playing games. I really thought about bringing my um, 
board game version of Stardew. Contemplated it. But to be completely transparent, I thought that this was in Concord Mills until this morning. Until I actually put in the address and looked up the um, location. I didn't realize it was in the circle. So now I'm... Uh, I feel like I could have brought it. I didn't want to walk through the mall holding a copy of a game that you could only get on Kickstarter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It would have been better at Luck Factory. I don't know any of them. I, uh, uh, the only, the, my game store growing up is very much closed uh, in Winston-Salem. What's up, H-Man? Good morning. Is it a good morning, H-Man? How'd you sleep, bud? How's it going? I saw your prayer request at 4.30 this morning, and I just got to say, I feel that, bro. I feel it. What is sleep, right? Yeah, we're going through six-week regression right now, and um, it's rough. <laughs> hey, y'all driving, Stained? Stained, are you headed to annual conference day two? Conference plenary? Are you having some plenaries today? Is it plenary Friday? Looking at the Facebook page pictures, it seems like bringing your own food is acceptable. I'd imagine. That's what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to swing by the Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. Get me some Mexican food because it's the best. And uh, then I'll bring that in and I'll eat when I first get there and play some games. I wonder if I do I need to like bring my Pokemon cards? Is somebody going to play Pokemon with me? Is somebody going to play Pokemon? Is <laughs> anyone going to play Pokemon with me? I'll play Pokemon. I have so many Pokemon cards is the thing. What's up, Taco? Moe sounds good. Moe is good. At this time, that's right. Uh, for, the, for the foreseeable future, we are, um, we are streaming on Thursday mornings, Taco. Because uh, Wednesday nights are no longer kosher. Not for now. Got a little Danganronpa in last night. Yes! How far are you? Have you finished Chapter 2? I know the last I heard, you definitely finished chapter one, but I can't remember if you ever got through chapter two. Or are you like on chapter five? It's a great game. Still in chapter two? It, 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 uh, it spreads out is all I'll say. Chapter one is definitely the shortest. I don't know. Chapter one and three are pretty short. But chapters, chapters two, four, and five are lengthy. 17 minutes away, that's much closer than I am. Add another 30 minutes onto that and you got me. But at least it's not an hour. I thought it was an hour until I, until I pulled it up on Legoog. What's up, Splash? How we doing, my friend? Good morning, good morning. Is this all our, all our um, school-age folks actually able to join us because no school? Is that right? Taco and Splash, do y'all not have school this morning? I'm enjoying some Vault Boy coffee this morning. Which, for uh, the reference, ended on Tuesday. Oh my goodness, I love summer vacation. <laughs> I love summer vacation. I have such fun. I love school, too. I, I wasn't like a, um, a hater of school. But, who oh boy, there ain't nothing. There ain't nothing like summer vacation. Splash and I figured out the other week that we live in the same town. Yes, you do. Ended Friday. Oh, Mr. Taco dude, man, you've been up a while. What are y'all doing with your summer? Hopefully neither one of you are, like, old enough to work, right? No, old enough to work. Unless you're working for, like, a family friend or something under the table. Don't work. Don't work. <laughs> Enjoy it. What joy. What joy it was to just go and get lost, man. Does everybody? Does anybody remember the Whitman Revs? Do y'all remember the Whitman Revs? Laura and Nathan Whitman. They are. Um, they're also. Also, they're also. They're also Methodist Petrus, and uh, they streamed for a little while there. They were streaming Halo. They don't stream anymore. Um, good people. I like them a lot, and they have three little boys, and their oldest boy goes to middle school next year, and um, they just got him a cell phone. And she even said in her post, she was like, I always said I never would. I always said, like, I'd never cave. But now, look, he's got a cell phone. And I feel that. <laughs> I feel that, dude. 
I feel it. I didn't get a cell phone until I was 16. So my my parents they lived up to the they lived up to the the threat. Um, or maybe I was 15. It was whenever I started doing a lot of a lot of theater. But I definitely was I definitely was not 10. I can tell you that much. No judgment, no judgment on a on a on a, a child getting a cell phone. But I say the same thing as uh, Laura and Nathan do, where I'm not gonna get my kid a cell phone until they're old enough to need one. So whatever that means, right? I mean, some some 10 year olds probably need a cell phone. Some, not many. And I hope mine doesn't. I don't know. I don't know, it's tricky stuff. I only got a phone this year, yeah. And my first phone was very much a dumb phone. I didn't get a smartphone until I went to college. I had a dumb phone for many, many years. Got a phone when I started middle school because I was walking to school myself, right? And I think that's I think that's their situation too. I don't know if it's walking to school, but it's a similar thing of like, um, they anticipate their child staying after school, right? Did I ever have a jitterbug? No, I was never 90 years old, H-Man. Did you have a jitterbug? No, those commercials were very targeted. <laughs> Commercials were incredibly targeted, weren't they? I got a, uh, let's see. I only got one right before middle school because I was going on a week-long trip to DC with a, with a group without my parents. Man, that's a long time to be that far away. Oh, I guess you weren't living in, you weren't living in uh, North Carolina, right? You, you're not from North Carolina, Trombone. You're, yeah. My parents wanted me to have one. My first one was a Nokia brick. I don't even remember. Mine was an LG something. It was purple. My um, my parents thought they bought me the blue one. <laughs> they thought they bought me the blue one. And that sucker was purple. And that's where my love affair with the color purple started. Yeah, you're still in Maryland. So that's not quite as far. That's still a... That's a distance. And for a whole week. The furthest I ever went away for a week would have been uh, Clemens from my home, and so that was about 15 minutes. And I'd go to camp each each year, and that'd be a week, Monday to Friday. Never long enough either. Never long enough. I don't even know what my phone would have been. It was a purple LG slide phone. My phone was literally ran over by a car in high school and worked perfectly after. Flip phone got left outside, it stormed for two weeks, got found after being run over by the lawnmower and it still worked. Phones, dude. They don't make them like they used to. Oh, this is it. What is this? The LG Rumor? That looks just like my phone did. It had to have been the Rumor. Yeah, it had to have been this phone, dude. That takes me back. Yeah. Let's see if I can find the purple one. Maybe not, because it definitely wasn't this one. It was like Nintendo purple, where it's like that weird blue purple color. Oh, hang on. I think I might have found it. The Alltel Scoop. That was totally it. Oh my gosh, that's my phone. <laughs> that's my phone. That's so weird. It's so weird to see. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Let's pull it up. Hang on. <laughs> oh, the memories. This is my phone, dude. <laughs> That's so nostalgic. I'm getting a little nostalgia trip. Yeah. My parents thought it was blue. They honestly thought it was blue. They were like, this is a blue phone. And I was like, nope. That's purple. <laughs> Many good memories on that thing. That was my first phone. 
Oh, and I never used that slide out keyboard. <laughs> Positively useless. No one, no one would have used that keyboard. Maybe you got my phone trombone. Maybe I was supposed to get the blue one and you were supposed to get the purple one. I don't know. I love the color purple. And I always did. I mean, I had, I had the Nintendo purple and stuff. T9 texting. I know, dude, I love it. I loved texting with a number pad. QWERTY keyboard, no way. I still don't like QWERTY keyboard. There you go. That's Maybe that's why I don't play games with um, keyboard and mouse. Even in my school days. The easiest way to text in your pocket. Yep, just feel those numbers. That is so wild. This that I mean that was my cell phone. Oh, and I remember my friend. I don't even think the uh, the phone is made anymore. But my friend growing up had a cell phone that you could make music on. They had like a little a real basic um, like a music base there, and uh, he would make um, ringtones and stuff. And I was so jealous. Man, that's a nostalgia trip. Bring back T9 and physical buttons. I do. I did love a physical button. There's something about that, like, tactile. Maybe we'll get there, you know, with, like, the, the mechanical keyboard revolution. Maybe we'll get there. It could happen. Brother had quick text on his phone and used to accidentally send in a meeting to his friend who thought he'd become a businessman overnight. <laughs> Short stream today, folks. Short stream. Because i got to make the trip to Concord. We've got um, Mighty Meeple Meetup. If you're in North Carolina, especially if you're in the Charlotte area of North Carolina, you want to meet up and play some games. We're going to meet in Concord. And, um, yeah, play for a couple hours. I'll be there until about 2. Be there for a few hours to meet me. That's right. Trombone will be there. I'll be there. And others. I'm not sure who else will be there from the Checkpoint community. We had a couple people that were interested, but... You know how that goes. Sometimes people are able to join us, sometimes they aren't. But I hope that we meet some people. Can't go, unfortunately. That's all good, Splash. We'd love to see you, but I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Next time, come to RVA. I'd love to come to Richmond. I think Richmond sounds like a great town. It's got to be cool. Um, we, almost, we, we would always like talk about going to Richmond whenever we lived up in Danville. We were like, why not? It's not that far. And um, just never did it. Four years. We lived in we lived in Danville for four years and we never made it to Richmond. Richmond was close enough that people would life flight over to it if something was really, really wrong. So many cool things. It's a cool town. We've always wanted to go to Richmond. We've always wanted to go to um, Savannah. Always wanted to go to Savannah, Georgia. Those have been a couple of like nearby locations, nearby hubs that we've always wanted to see that just haven't. COVID certainly didn't help things. COVID didn't help things, and having a uh, baby and baby number two doesn't help things. It's hard to travel with babies. It, well, the thing about traveling with children is that you just gotta do it. They're not. It's not gonna be easy. You're not always gonna have fun, but don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it as Shio might say. But yes, short stream today, we're going to play a dating sim. Um, I, I don't know anything about this dating sim, except for the fact that I saw Barry Kramer, who's one of my, my longtime streamers, play it not too long ago. And I, I was like instantly, I was instantly in it. I was instantly curious um, because I love dating sims. And it's a dating sim that also combines Pycross, which if you don't know what Pycross is, you'll see soon. But Pycross is um, a puzzle game. And so I was like, okay, I love Pycross. I love dating sims. It's good enough of a game that Barry Kramer is playing it. And then I went to go buy it off the Steam store. It's nominated for an award for best story rich game on Steam Awards. I was like, I gotta play this game. I gotta play this game. I cannot play this game. I don't know if it's going to be funny. It looks funny. Looking at it, it looks goofy. So I think it's going to be goofy. But um, I don't know. I, I know nothing. I don't know if it's going to subvert my expectations. I don't know if it's going to be a doki doki. It doesn't say psychological horror. Let me look at the tags. Hang on. Uh, 
on a store page. It's a positive, positive review. It actually came out in 2020, but I'm saying that it's new. Yeah, it's funny. Funny, comedy, story rich, dating sim, puzzle. Pixel Girl is the main character. Oh, no way. Was it made by the same people? Now, that'll be very interesting. So I played uh, Murder by Numbers years ago. And I wonder if it's made by the same people. No, different people. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser, but I love Pie Cross, dude. Suggestive themes. There might be some mild provocative references or materials. FYI. Ooh, and that's very concerning. <laughs> If you look at games like this, Bug Snacks, innocent enough. Mm, house Party, mm -mm. uh oh. Crush Crush, whoops, oh no. <laughs> Undertale, okay. Emily is away, good. Doki Doki, um, Doki you say Bangin' Summer, uh oh. We'll see, dude. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Um, hopefully it'll be fun. So I'd say let's just get into it. I say we just get into it. H Man says might be going to Florida. Florida with this new baby. Yeah. That's a heck of a hike. How long of a drive is it? Are you driving or are you flying? Maybe you're flying. Surely you're flying from Richmond. Because it's a long drive from North Carolina, and that's a couple extra hours. Top off my coffee real quick. My new bougie coffee. This has been officially um, burr grinded. Burr grinded. Think it's nine hours? No way. What part of Florida? Like practically Georgia? We used to drive to Disney World. And that was a twelve hour drive. Jacksonville. So you're you're going to Georgia. <laughs> Now, I always joke with um, Outisense lives lives in Georgia, and so we always talk about Jacksonville's practically. Whoa, funny now. Sup, man? You doing okay? Pray all is good with you. Things are going good. Hope the same is for you, who's funny now. Welcome back. We're going to be playing a weird game today. <laughs> We're going to take it weird. We're going to take it weird. Why not? Pie Cross. What's it called? Pixel, Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. <laughs> Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. We love it. Oh, man. Yeah, I know nothing. I love the weird ones. Methodist Gaming, what's up? Just saying hi, Nate. Run into the office. Have a great stream. Thanks so much. I assume Adam. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Folks, check out Methodist Gaming. You have the ability now on Twitch to right-click that name and go follow him. Go give him a follow. Or we can give him a shout-out. H-Man, you've got the... Uh, you've got the ability. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Yep, so you know it well. You probably know how just, just how close Florida can be. All right, no spoilers. First playthrough. catch up with you all at a later time hey awesome thank you my friend let's see if this works yeah shout him out just asking if she hopped in the chat she's sitting right here <laughs> that would be that would be wild just right next to you very fun 
Who's funny now? Did I ask you last time how did you find us? Did you pop up? Did we pop up in your recommended, or did you find us through Love Thy Nerd, or how did you how did you stumble upon us? All right, hopefully this game has a bopping soundtrack. Watching TikTok, oh, story of my life, dude. All I do nowadays. That feels kind of loud. Hey! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm on board with the music so far, but it's a little loud. It is a little loud. I'm going to take it down a notch. Let's exit real quick. Let's take it down a couple notches. Let's go down to 40 and see what that does for us. See if that's any better. Here we go. Moment of truth. We'll find out. Still very loud. All right, I guess I just gotta drop it down manually. All right, I'm ready. Got my beagle sandwich. Looking for the keyword Christian. Oh, got you. Very cool. Well, we are very much that. We unabashedly put that uh, put that checkpoint church in our name for a reason. Audio. Oh, cool. I could turn it on here too. Hopefully it's better. I turned it down pretty drastically. Graphics. Intense. I do like autofill. Hint numbers. I don't need hints. I don't need hints, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't need hints. Other. Interesting. All right, let's get into it. New game, Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. <laughs> Woohoo. It's a beautiful day for justice. I don't need <laughs> I don't need hints. Famous last words for real. Sorry, did I get that right? My name is Pixel Girl. I'm a superhero in training. Some Mr. Foot. <laughs> oh, I don't like Mr. Foot. <laughs> Some heroes can fly, others run with super speed. As for me, I've been bestowed with the power of pixel puzzle solving. Totally incredible, right? To me, everything looks like a magical series of squares and numbers. Everything? Like that tree and those babies. <laughs> yep, or the cute barista at Coffee Pals. Life is just one big pixel puzzle. Oh, story of my life. You might be wondering, what exactly is the power of pixel puzzle solving? It's totally obvious, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? To be honest, I'm still figuring out how my pu puzzling puzzle powers can be used in any practical sense. I just want to be a real hero already. I'm barely managing not to be a super burden. No need to get so existential. My puzzle... Oh, look at how it, like, scans the letters. That's kind of a neat little, um, neat little cursor, isn't it? My puzzle powers are just another puzzle to be solved. I'll keep acting like a real hero until I become one. So, what's on my superhero agenda today? Oh, why, hang on, why was it... It was, wasn't it pink earlier? Drum roll, please. Today's heroic feature of superheroes is super relaxation. Even heroes get days off, you know. I'm going shoe shopping. D don't worry, this isn't going to turn into some mid-2000s women be shopping gag. <laughs> Hero training has done a number on my sneakers, and I need to get a new pair like yesterday. On my other day off, I'll spend maybe 7, 8, or 13 hours finding puzzle solutions. But it makes me wonder... Could there really be more to life than just solving pixel puzzles? No way. Not possible. Probably not! See, I told you. Time to go shopping. CGs? Cool. That's a lengthy CG. We get it. Wow, so many sneakers! Chunk Taylors, <laughs> Spikies, Bear Jordans. What is so darn alluring about the smooth curves on a new pair of sneakers? I want them all! Too bad the superhero side gig doesn't pay that well. And shoes are expensive, man. Or at all, really. Someday all heroes will get that sweet, sweet government funding. <laughs> Don't worry, local citizens. I won't spend your taxpayer dollars on anything too frivolous. Ooh, that pair comes in purple. There's something about this design, the craftsmanship. The smell of rubber gives me a funny feeling. Oh, it's time. Superheroing in progress. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is she solving it? I want to solve it! 
I want to sell it. No. No. I want to solve the puzzle. I wanted to solve it. Even on my day off, I can't turn off my prestigious powers. I wanted to solve it. Huh? Someone's behind me. Bang. Pop. Yes. What is happening? A gas grenade. A gas grenade? <laughs> We're shoe shopping. I need to contact the others, but... Well, maybe you should have let me solve it. I'm getting dizzy. What is happening? <laughs> so much smoke. That is a lot of smoke for the outside. What a puzzling conundrum. Oh, my head. I've got a super throbbing super headache. What even happened? I remember being gassed and then, why is it so dark? Oh no, am I blind? Russell, Russell, Russell. Folded, I've been blindfolded. Come on, pixel girl. Superheroes can't jump to conclusions. I'd love to strike a dramatic pose to punctuate that point, but I'm tied up too. How am I gonna get out of this one? Okay, stay calm, take a deep breath. Remember the basics. Pixel puzzles will set me free. Will you let me solve this one? Would you like a tutorial on how to solve pixel puzzles? I don't need it, no. You're familiar with pixel puzzles? Am I tied to a chair? <laughs> Good! Don't forget to enable free mode from the options menu if you prefer fewer hints. Use logic and reasoning to solve these first few puzzles and help Pixel Girl escape. Oh, cool! Break you out of here! Oh, well that's the easiest puzzle that there could be. Ooh, use L to wipe, clear it. Darkness. <laughs> That's an easy puzzle. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What, what, what? Do I need to explain how to play this game? <laughs> I just realized I was just solving. So pixel puzzles. Pie cross is just like it sounds. You get across and down. So you've got to fill in this block of pixels and hit the number at the top tells you how many pixels need to be filled in in each row or column. So this uh, row only needs one thing filled in. Okay, cool. You know. You know. You got it. Chair. I love Pie Cross. Every single time uh, Nintendo Switch drops a new Pie Cross game, I play it. It is my favorite thing. That was toward the darkness puzzle. It was very easy. It was exceptionally easy. Exclamation! Are there supposed to be hints here? Stairs. Is this me getting out of here? Is this step by step like me escaping? Escape? I like it. Escape. Easy deep easy. No problem. Ooh. Ten by tens. Wait, did it just what did it just do? Is it giving me a multiplier? No, it's just telling me how many I place. I was about to say that'd be pretty cool if it gave me a multiplier. Bone. Time to call some safety friends. Beep. Beep. I like how it locks me in a column. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Nice. Help. 
Easy peasy. Achievement unlocked. Breaking out. Back at the headquarters. Who is that? Great job solving those pixel puzzles. Would you like to hear some additional tips for solving larger puzzles? No. Nope. If you want to customize your pixel puzzle solving experience, make sure to open the options menu. In addition to enabling free mode, you can also customize puzzle hints to your liking. You can also disable the timer if you need extra time to solve larger puzzles. P players with sensitivity to visual effects, such as flashing lights or screen shaking, can disable these from the menu too. Good luck with the rest of the adventure! Finally, I'm free! Thank you, Pixel Puzzle Powers! Oh, this is a creepy little basement. What's with that one light bulb hanging down from the ceiling? What just happened? Question mark. <laughs> I wonder... Did some pervy architect build this place with a kidnapping scene in mind? You fool. Why would anyone need to build an interrogation chamber of doom? <laughs> if they can simply rent one at an affordable price per square foot, too. <laughs> That's not right. Maybe I'll try... Um... <laughs> ah, forget this. You can't beat the old classics. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? It is I, none other than your nemesis, the villain, and dramatic foil to the despicable Puzzle League. I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. I'm kind of new to the team. How could you forget our fateful first encounter? Our destinies have been entwined ever since. Where? Last week, at the Mini Mart. I was watching you buy your favorite strawberry bubble blast gum, but then you ignored me entirely. I mean, that guy who was creeping in the candy aisle? That was... You? Who are you, exactly? I said I'm the villain! We just went over this. No matter, I've got you right where I want you. Um, outside of my trap, but still ultimately within a larger trap. That door over there is locked, after all. What? Let's unlock the door. Let's unlock the door. Let's unlock the door. Boop. I'll open you right up. Rattle, rattle. No! Don't worry. Don't you worry. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. How do I undo? How do I undo? No! No! Okay, well, I guess I got that right. Would it have dinged me? I just dragged a little too far. I don't know if it would have dinged me or not. Well, there sure is a timer, huh? Because you said so. Blocked. Give the door a little jimmy. Dang, he's right. The villain really did think of everything. Finally, the time has come where we can meet face to face. Long have I awaited to meet you, Pixel Girl. I've been watching you since the day you joined those pitiful puzzled pedantics. But you're not like them. Put your mind to it, and you could cocoon into a truly warped warrior of twisted justice. Join me, Pixel Girl. I'll show you that villainy is the only real path to the truth. Stand close beside me. You know, maybe just close enough for our hands to accidentally brush. Now a light blush colors your cheeks. You bring your face closer to mine, and then... Mm, let's see what comes next. Huh? Is he flirting with me? Am I being flirted with right now? Sorry, am I being flirted with? I didn't ask for this. Except for the fact that I absolutely did by opening up a, a game called Pixel Puzzle Makeout. Can we take a moment to appreciate how Villain doesn't even get a name? He does have a name. His name is Villain. It's a very cool name. A name that I definitely like. 
that I'm definitely not embarrassed by. Done did it. Cards. Is he following a script? Uh are those index cards? What's that sound? Are are, are you using index cards? No, they're Evil cards for evil. And what was that last part with the brushing and the blushing? Nothing at all important. Just forget about it entirely. Mm, forget this monologuing. I'll just leave you locked in here until you show me some respect. I was just, I was a little frightened, but honestly, now I'm just embarrassed. No, go back to being afraid. You will join me by choice or by force. You're all on your own. What can you hope to do alone? You're never alone when you have puzzles. Uh, uh, uh. Sudoku? <laughs> Was that supposed to be heroic, Chaz? I understand his meaning crystal clear. You see, Sudoku, his metaphor, though muddled, is meant to suggest that while one may be alone, the very puzzle of identity means that we can never truly understand ourselves. In that way, even when you are by yourself, you aren't alone as we as individuals are all made up of further individual pieces. Oh, <laughs> yeah! You sure did put words into sentences there, Crossword. I don't know what you said, but that's definitely not what I meant. Sorry, villain, the cavalry has arrived. And there's no time to think things through once. The Pixel Puzzle League figures things out. We tried searching the warehouse, but the villain had already fled. This villain had no minions, no ray guns, and no real concrete plan to try and defeat the Puzzle League. I thought that was the last we'd see of him, but we couldn't figure out, what we couldn't figure out at the time was that the Puzzle League's real battle had only just begun. I love this game. <laughs> this is so silly. And later, oh. Do you have a puzzle that can't be solved? A conundrum eating away at your soul? Did your grandfather leave you a mysterious treasure in his will? Ever had your cat disappear into the aether? Oh no! Your ride to the airport bailed on you at the last minute? If you need help finding help when no one's left to help, then help yourself to help from the Puzzle League! Our members are experts in the myst mystical puzzle arts. Each of us has been granted a divine gift by the powers above. Meet Crossword. Rarely cross, but always full of words. Is that a camera? Crossword knows all. Looking to learn some extra SAT vocabulary? He's your man. I am not a thesaurus. Okay, okay, moving on. This is Sudoku, an all-powerful number magician. If you could pierce through her overly rational, prickly exterior, you'd surely find the equations to laws that govern our very universe. E equals MC squared. And all those other ones. This is stupid. And her thousand-eyed demon stare would leave even the most hardened barbarian with a soaking loincloth. Don't say loincloth. Or soaking. For matters of the heart, I'll introduce... Pi... Pika? Pi, pi, Picea? Hey, P, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> yeah, that's totally it! The beautiful Picea can put anything back together again. Your mother's prized vase. The homework your dog ate. Even the broken art! And then there's me, Chess. I'm the chess master of this team and, and grand strategist behind the scenes. I can lead any army and win any war, as long as I'm on the side of justice. Call us sometime. We can be summoned from our secret HQ that is definitely purposefully placed in the warehouse district for strategic reasons. I have expected Pythagoras, yeah. Maybe that'll be a villain later on. Not just because it was all we could afford. Oh, and if we're not in the lair, be sure to check the Snapplebees on Main Street. Justice may never sleep, but evil will occasionally get a short reprieve while we enjoy half-priced appetizers. Who knew I had powers of cinematography hidden inside me? Can you believe I filmed that promo video in a single take? That was the longest commercial I've ever seen. Thank you! Ugh. Sorry you were left out, Pixel Girl. I shot this right before you joined the team. Don't worry, I don't mind. Seriously, it's fine. I'm afraid this commercial may not produce the results you're looking for. I don't know any superheroes who drum up business through television advertisements. 
Nor do I know about any other superheroes aside from ourselves, for that matter. I'm already 20 moves ahead, Crossword. From my point of view, we're already world famous. We just need to make that crucial move to put the mate in check. That yeah, totally makes sense and crazy at all. Did, did we really have to come out to the warehouse just to watch this? I need to get back home for my guild's raid. This is the moment the Puzzle League enters the spotlight. I'm here in downtown City Tenopolis, where eyewitnesses say a kidnapping happened right outside of Chucky Shoemaker's Shoe Emporium. Wow, we really are about to enter the spotlight. Ma'am, were you a witness to the crime? Huh, a kidnapping. Wasn't that just another of those viral marketing things for that new superhero show? Or something like that? I don't keep up with the media. Aren't those guys who loiter around the mall in those weird puzzle outfits? I think it's for some alternate reality game. You really will do anything for money in your 20s. Hey, here it is. <laughs> hey, it's puzzling. I don't know how they do it, but I know that they shouldn't be. You heard it here first, folks. And that was just a fad called puzzling. It's a TV show, a video game, and the new vaping. <laughs> what will those crazy millennials think of next? Uh. Well, that's just irresponsible journalism. What the heck was that? Local news at its finest. We should sue for slander. Can we sue for slander? You absolutely cannot sue for slander. Being a superhero is great and all, but I have to admit, what I really like best... What about libel? Definitely not. Assault. I don't think you know what I don't think you know what those words mean. Nonsense. I've already won 12 lawsuits in my mind. It's getting to hang out with my new friends. My least favorite part is definitely getting kidnapped though. This has been a super eventful day. I took a nice walk, looked at some cool shoes, and got kidnapped by a megalomaniac. <laughs> you okay, Pixel Girl? You got a super concerned look on your face. Sorry, Picea. I'm just worried about that bad guy from earlier. He said he's been watching me, and we still don't know anything about him. Have no fear, Pixel Girl. I bet Chester Crossword will puzzle out a way to get you home safe and sound. Of course, we will not allow a single hair on your head to be harmed. Quit jumping ahead, our meeting isn't done. I vote to wrap this thing up. This isn't a democracy either. I don't remember voting for you as leader. Dictators don't get voted in. Actually, in ancient Rome, dictators were individuals voted into office by the Senate to wield absolute authority in times of crisis. After the crisis passed, the dictator would willingly give up his power. I'm not a dictator and we're not voting! You can't bake your cake and eat it too, Chiz. Okay, fine. Who wants to adjourn this meeting early? Me. Me! I, I the boob! Should we wrap the meeting up? I want to keep going. But I wanted to keep going. Seriously. Pixel, Pixel Girl, my most loyal piece. You're a queen among pawns. I'm still... It's still three to two. Fine. We will once again have it your way. We'll all go our separate ways, unprepared to face the terrifying challenges ahead. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that. Interesting. Um, let's go with just standard here. Noise. I like how solemn this music is. It's almost like Final Fantasy music. Adjourned. Meeting dismissed. Also, be back here tomorrow. Sayonara, puzzle peeps. We shall re we shall regroup tomorrow. Guess I better go home. You will join me, by choice or by force. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll ask someone to walk home with me just in case. Whoa, look at all these options. Ah, I get to choose. I don't know. Who should we choose? I am... Um, my favorite game is Sudoku. And I want to know if that like eventually unlocks a way for you to play Sudoku. I don't really like crosswords. Picea is uh, bizarre, uh, and I don't. Uh, chess is fine. I'm gonna go with Sudoku. Stepping with Sudoku. If I remember correctly, Sudoku lives near my neighborhood. Maybe I can walk home with her. I'll just ask. Her? Did she walk out already? 
Wait for me! Hey, Sudoku, wait up! Hmm? I'm headed this way, too. Can I walk with you? Oh, sure, I guess. <laughs> She's walking awfully fast. Seriously, how is she walking so quickly in those shoes? I can barely keep up with her. I'm sorry, Sudoku, but can you please slow down? I have a raid to get to. A rave? Like a party? No, a raid. Like in an MMORPG. Where who, where you and a bunch of friends complete a dungeon together? Fight bad guys? Video games? Common textbook terms? Sorry, I only do pixel puzzles. Figures. But I, uh, I bet it's interesting. What kind of game do you play? It's called Sweetheart Safari Online. STO for short. S2O. S2O. All the characters are animals, and you can join guilds called zoos to protect each other from enemy attacks. The classes can be hard to grasp at first because they're all animal-themed, but it's fun once you get it. I play a tiger tank, so I'm always on the front lines, but my guildies are really good at supporting me in-game and out. Our healer even designed my superhero costume. She's got this way with fabric. It, it's, it's a fun enough game for a time sink kind of thing. Your friend designed your outfit? That's so cool. Whatever, it's too frilly for me, honestly. You look super cute. I couldn't get away with wearing anything like that, but it suits you perfectly. I just wear this costume because it seems like the sort of thing a superhero would wear. Wait, is there an MMORPG in this game? I don't know what to expect at this point, Trombone. It's not like it really reflects me or anything. I mean, how can I capture my essence when I don't fully understand my powers? I don't get why I have them in the first place. For my whole life, I've been a normal, everyday girl. I've always loved the elegant beauty of pixel puzzles, but they're only brain teasers. I could never have called my skills magical. But one day, I was working on some pixel puzzles at my desk when the sky opened up. <laughs> Holy moly. Is this the story of Moses? More coffee. It's hard to explain, but there was this big light. Like the light at the end of the tunnel people see when they almost die. Is she dead? Is she dead? Then a voice spoke to me like it was coming from the back of my head. Strike down that which does not belong to this world. The next minute the sky closed up, the voice fell silent, and suddenly pixel puzzles could solve all my problems. Is it Piscea? Is Piscea the bad guy? Because they definitely don't look like they belong to this world. It might not sound true, but I believe it. I probably sound crazy. I also heard that voice. It told me, create order from the empty squares of chaos. I guess that makes sense to me. Since you guys are all a bunch of squares... Easy peasy. Pixel puzzles are a little like Sudoku, I guess. Not not totally different. Sudoku. You heard the voice too? I think we all did. Except maybe Picea. I don't think that part poking out of her is an ear. <laughs> it's nice to know we're not alone, right? Life would be way harder if we didn't have our friends. Maybe. I don't know. She looks so serious. Maybe I said something wrong. Or maybe that's just how her face always looks. We've arrived at my apartment, accident-free. Cool. Wait, Sudoku! Will you be okay getting home alone? I'm okay on my own. And she's gone quick. She does have a game to get to. Maybe I'll check out S2O later. If this game has an MMO, I'm going to lose my mind. My big day off definitely could have gone better. But I guess it could have gone way worse. Yeah, I was kidnapped. But I was also rescued. Come on, Pixel Girl. You need to stay positive. You're a superhero after all. Think of it this way. Today just proved that I have some really great friends. I mean, uh, co-workers? Hmm. Maybe potential friends. Or maybe something more than friends? Whoa. What's up, Sneaky? How we doing? <laughs> what is he doing in my room? Oh, what? I thought he was talking. Okay, I'm just remembering him. Jess is very energetic, uh, but also earnest and sweet. Crossword is a cool guy who never lets anything bother him. Sudoku is standoffish, but might be hiding a serious inner cutie. And Picea is definitely very mysterious. I'd say so. It's like I'm the star of a quirky indie flick. Am I living in a rom-com? I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Time to tuck in and pass out. Walk me home. Achievement unlocked. 
All right, more puzzles. Sneaky, we're playing a pie cross game. Um, and I just can't help but feel like there might be more than meets the eye here. Not totally sure yet, but I'm getting some vibes. There's got to be a reason this game is, is nominated for Story Rich. Got to be a reason. I don't think they would just nominate it for no reason. Super tired this morning, hoping the, hoping the coffee kicks in soon. Very nice. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. I definitely feel that. We didn't really... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I guess that must have been right. <laughs> Thank goodness. Still don't know what it does if I get one wrong. Maybe I should try to do one in purpose. I think this game has every game possible inside it. That's the secret. That's my secret cap. I'm all games. Bedtime. Bedtime. Sleep time. Doo -doo. Or maybe I've just played too much Danganronpa and I'm expecting this game to be more than this. That's also very possible. Yeah, we didn't sleep much last night, Sneaky, so I'm, I'm right there with you. Quinn is going through a really bad regression. Oh, good! Good, it's 15 now. This is going to be really hard to hold. Boop, boop. All right, two, 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 two. All twos, huh? Well, that's not very nice. Quinn's still not sleeping well. Is it sleep regression? Definitely. Yeah, we're right at six weeks, which is a pretty, pretty normal time for some regression. She really, she sleeps fine. She just doesn't get to sleep very well. It takes a lot of work. It's not like colic either. It's not like she's crying the whole time. She just refuses to get settled. Which it could be our fault. We could just need to work on a better bedtime routine. We were really, really good with bedtime routine with the first one. I wonder if there's something to that. Okay, that's 11. Perfect. Perfect. I like this music. Music is very zen. No! Okay, thank goodness. I didn't mean to click there. Hmm. <laughs> This has definitely been the hardest one so far, but I do not need 13 minutes. toast. I guess we're waking up now. Sneaky, earlier we were talking about our, our first phones. Do you remember your first phone? I find it an interesting generational thing. Examine that gap. It all started from a conversation about the Whitman Revs who just got their kiddo a phone. Minerva has released me, but I have yet to get up. You got this, trombone. We gotta play games. Tree! Mm. 
No, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought it was holding it. Why does sometimes it, it lock me to the, the column or the row and sometimes it not? I do remember my first one, but I don't remember the specific model, but it was a Nokia. I could play games here on Xbox. You certainly could, but then you don't get to play games in person at the Mighty Meeple. See, now it locked me in the row. That's what I wanted it to do. We found my first one. It was called the LG Scoop or something. That sounds right. It had a slide out keyboard that I never used. So I wonder, do I get like a lesser score this time because I accidentally had a mess up? Or do I just get like a certain number of mess ups? It was an honest mistake. And Stained was with us for a little bit, but I think he had to head into conference. You make a solid argument, plus there's a potential of hugs at Mighty Meeple. There's also anxiety, because what if these people hate me in person? Nobody's going to hate you in person. Oh, I guess this is my home, huh? No need for such anxiety. And that's coming from somebody that's going to be absolutely worn out after this. My introversion is going to be tested. I'm the first hero at Puzzle League HQ this morning. Early to bed, early to rise, keeps cocky young heroes from early demise. Suddenly, I find myself overwhelmed. With just a few minutes of unrestricted access, I could do anything. Like nap on the couch, or help myself to all the snacks. I could even mess with Chess's beloved corkboard. That actually wouldn't be very heroic, but it would lead to some high-class hijinks. I'll just take a peek at what crimes he's currently investigating. The mayor is sleeping with who? Ned Cad! Good morning, fellow heroes. Why, hello, Chess, I was just doing nothing suspicious at all! Were you checking out my corkboard? I was just checking it out with my eyes only and definitely not my hands. Well, turn those inquisitive eyes back towards yesterday's mystery. And then also watch my keen intellect bring your kidnapper to justice. Talking about kidnapping this early in the morning, Chess? There's, that's more of a lunchtime conversation. There you are, crossword, exactly three minutes and 47 seconds late. I always arrive precisely when I mean to. Seven across. Tolk. Well, I don't get that joke. <laughs> Need to figure out what to bring for lunch. I'm still thinking most. Good morning, pretty puzzle peeps. Sorry I'm late. I picked up Sudoku on my way here. Hello, police. I'd like to report another kidnapping. There's no such thing as kidnapping between friends. Good job, P. Now we can begin the meeting. Oh, goody. In response to recent villainous acts, I think it's time we expand our patrol routes. Patrol routes? You mean hanging out at the mall? No, Sudoku, it's time we step beyond the confines of the mall! I want us patrolling the entire city. Between the five of us, we can keep the streets safe from all manner of crooks. Last night I took the liberty of compiling schedules for all of us. And I paired us based on optimal power compatibility. First shift will be a solo Picea, crossword in Sudoku and Pixel Girl and myself. We will all work just as well with Pixel Girl, but your proposed schedule pairs you two together exclusively. If compatibility is the concern, why aren't you and I ever paired together? I think we're compatible enough. No, the match is in... No, the math is in, and you are wrong. You and Sudoku both fill in squares. Perfect match. Can't do any better. Let me look at your algorithm. I'm sure I could nudge the numbers along. I just want to show the newbie around. The oldest team member and the newest have to team up. It's very logical. I don't care who I'm paired with. Whichever way maximizes our justice is fine by me. It makes more sense to rotate partners regularly. We have an odd number anyway. Does it matter who is physically with who? We're always in contact thanks to our high-tech communicators. You mean our cell phones? Communicators. And just because you gave us these weird branded phone cases doesn't mean... Wait, I just got an alert. Something weird is going on. Somebody turn on the TV. Not in the middle of the meeting, Sudoku. Shut it, Square. This is serious. 
Look. What is happening? <laughs> that is not a mall. That is not a strip mall. Very important to say that that is not a strip mall. Whoever designed that CG did not know what a strip mall looked like. Folks, we're reporting live from a battling scene at the Skyly Strip Mall. A massive tower has appeared out of thin air, wedging itself into the mall's parking lot. The structure is impossibly tall, defying all traditional logic. We're going to take the copter in for a closer look. A puzzling tower appears out of nowhere? A mysterious villain steps out from the shadows? Isn't this exactly the situation we wanted? But for all of our talk of superhero X, we're just sitting here in silence. Mm. 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 Are we going to do something about this? Uh, of course we are. My great foresight led us here, didn't it? It's our destiny. That might be taking it too far. I agree with Picea. I mean, I don't know if it's destiny specifically, but this is what we've been waiting for, right? We'll take on this challenge together. I couldn't have put it better myself. I mean, I definitely could have, but you're allowed to give a noble speech every once in a while. Emphasis on once. All for one and one for all. Yeah, okay. Puzzle League, let's move out! What? <laughs> this really changed. There's the CG. Okay. Now, what do we have here? <laughs> the appearance of the puzzle tower right on schedule. Maybe I will need her help after all. Her? Picea, dude. It's totally Picea. I knew this world belong I knew this world belonged to me, and I won't stop until the gods themselves hand it over. <laughs> Why the dot dot dot? Five minutes later and we're already back at HQ. Here's a wasted effort. We were totally excited to go down and help, but then the mayor asked people to stay away for for the police to step set up a perimeter. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Pixel in the puzzle. Okay, let's see. Let's imagine two there. Boom. Boom. Nice. Um, and I think there was another one like that, wasn't there? I love Pie Cross, you guys. One more under far left six over here? Or was that earlier? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That stream delay. A cursed stream delay. I was listening to a really interesting um, YouTube video yesterday uh, from Alana Pierce talking about, um, I can't remember what the name of the company was, but I want to look them up. It was like Deepwell or something. And they have a goal to start putting labels on games that are for therapeutic purposes. 
So like you'd be able to pick up a game and know that this is a game that would like help with this particular issue or crisis. No entry. That was a tough one. That was a good one. We don't want to get in the way. I guess we'll just have to wait things out for now. It's an interesting idea for sure. So I'm all on board and I want to help them any way I can. So I want to do more research. From 60 to zero, just like dead. Emergency medical staff are now treating four people who suffered injuries at the scene of the crash. One citizen has also been reported as missing. If you have any information on their whereabouts, please contact... Missing? A couple people probably got swept up in the chaos and scattered. I give them an hour to turn up. Hopefully. Even humans can get lost in the cosmic couch cushions of reality. They hope everyone is alright. Yeah, what are you, by the way, Picea? Jess looks troubled. I can't blame him. I'm starting to feel anxious myself. As long as I can remember, we never had anything worse than petty crime in our city. Does this new threat have something to do with us? Jess, are you alright? You look pale, more so than usual. I... I'm the leader, after all. Let's try a pep talk. Whew. Okay, team. We haven't had much crime to fight lately. I mean, this is more of an unnatural disaster than a crime, but heroes aren't all about fighting criminals. We help people. Whenever they're in trouble. Here's an order from your leader. Let's go look for that missing per... <clears throat> Good morning, puzzle peeps. Bring your attention back to your TV screen. This is a special broadcast for the self-proclaimed Puzzle League. I warned you, Pixel Girl. You are clearly not interested in cooperating with me, even when I asked very nicely. Hmm. Huh? What is this guy's problem? Good. Leave the bed. Leave the bed and get to Mighty Meeple. I gotta leave in 22 minutes. Therefore, I'm undergoing a little career change. I'm shifting from villainy to construction work. <laughs> and this city is cleared for demolition. I'll bulldoze your hopes and dreams to build a new world just for me. I thought I'd start small by placing this puzzle tower here. Yes. That is what it's now called. Don't ask me why I chose them all. It's definitely where I intended for this thing to fall. Uh, to stand as a home base where I will start my illustrious legacy of destruction. So then, Puzzle League, the gauntlet is thrown. You have mere days to surrender and forfeit your lives. Only then will I consider sparing and potentially evacuating the innocent civilians of this city. Maybe I'll build them a resort island if you give up in the next 40 minutes. And don't even think about trying to break in here. This place is locked tight, and I now sit invulnerable. Seriously, I, I cannot figure out how to get the front door open again. I am getting a little claustrophobic. <clears throat> I await your formal written letter of surrender, Pixel Girl. Otherwise, the destruction will continue, whether I want it to or not. It's the villain again. Now he's threatening the city just to get back at me? What did I even do? Why does he think he knows me? Eleven down, a feeling of unease when faced with terrifying unknown. Uncertainty. <laughs> We're more like... S what? What? S down? Five down. We are more like five downs by the looks of it. I guess we weren't the only ones to get our powers from the heavens. We are coming back on the air after being interrupted by a pirate signal broadcasting from inside the tower. No idea how it managed to sweep the airwaves, but we're still dedicated to providing coverage of the day's events. We have an update on the missing person case. No longer involved in the Puzzle Tower incident, the missing man actually just lied to his wife about going to the mall to buy gifts for his son. He was found drinking at the local Snapplebee's and was, has, has amassed quite the tab. Hope your kiddo's fourth birthday goes well, you two. Is that a cartoon version of Idris Elba? <laughs> Pretty much. It does look just like him, doesn't it? Ah, TV time is over! Hey, Chess, two deeds press, okay? All right, all right, all right! I, Chess, have surveyed the situation. I can, make, I can make two very astute tactical observations. You're actually using a plan this time? But improv is your specialty! No, I've always been like this. Number one, the villain has clearly marked himself as our adversary and is trying to disband us through use of nefarious force. Number two, since he hasn't actually done anything seriously dangerous yet, it's not too late to stop him. Well spoken, Chess. Therefore, as our leader slash dictator slash president, I propose the following moves. Puzzle League to tower. Puzzle League to villain's command room. Villain to jail. And finally, Puzzle League to Snapplebees. That is some black and white thinking I can get behind. T 
team. I just want to say, I'm sorry. I don't know why this villain wants anything to do with me. And I only just met him yesterday. But just so you all know, I... Pixel girls, stop. None of this is your fault. This probably has nothing to do with you whatsoever. Maybe not you specifically, but with all of us. Our powers were given to us by a mysterious force. And while we haven't had to actually use them for anything useful like ever, now it seems like the villain can use them too. So let's beat this guy down and get it over with. Then maybe we'll know why we have our powers and can finally be heroic. Well said, Sudoku. Let's beat up the villain and get featured on TV. That is almost definitely not what I just said. Shall we investigate then? If we step out now, we should arrive just as the police are taking off for lunch. We'll provide what's lacking while law enforcement's slacking. I'm feeling better about this, guys. Thank you. Let's hop on public transportation and make like make moves like real heroes. Nothing heroic like public transportation. It's totally Picea, right? It's too weird that Picea is a puzzle piece. Gotta have something to do with it. There's just no two ways about it. I don't know what Pisces deal is, but it's just got to be. Or is that too obvious and it's another team member, right? Watch it be like somebody. It better not be Sudoku. Sudoku's best girl for me right now. And that's probably just because I love Sudoku. But you're right, they could just be throwing me off the trail. But definitely said her. Might not even need her help. So that's really just leave Sudoku and Picea. So maybe it is Sudoku. What would be the odds that I would pick the bad person to walk home with? Done and done. Taking the subway. Where did that 80s jam come from? Alright, on to our second map. Whoa. <laughs> what is this? Puzzle Tower just slammed down in the middle of the mall. Oh, I see. Ch-chunk-chunk. Chunk-chunk. Chunk. That door sounds very locked. What happened to the mall? I think... What if it's just, like, right beside? Door. Very locked. <laughs> nice. I don't see a way in, but I'll keep trying. Any chance one of us heroes is also a locksmith? Maybe a master jewel thief? I can't do very much with a lock I can't even see. I hope your skill with lockpicking is merely recreational, Sudoku. What kind of hobbies do you think I have? Please, I am not judging you. We all need a bit of time to remove our costumes and remind ourselves what it means to be normal. It's a weird sentence. I'm sure Jess only takes his helmet off when he's in the bath. Ignoring that, well, look, if we don't have a way to get into this tower, then we have no way of bringing this villain to justice. Innocent lives are now on the line. Think of all the birthday parties that hang in the balance. Hmm. As I get closer to the tower, this tingly feeling inside me grows. It feels like when I first got my powers. Or when I get into a really good pixel puzzle solving groove. Maybe if I just reach out and touch it. Fools, you may have marched right to my front door, but I've taken my welcome mat away. Metaphorically, of course. Everybody come and play, throw every last care away, let's go to the mall today. While I'm at it, I'll set out a different novelty mat that reads, Go away! <laughs> Metaphorically, again. 
Uh, in this situation, the impenetrable lock on the tower door is the novelty go away mat. Villain, no more games. You almost got innocent people hurt. Give it up. I can't even stand our own wacky antics, let alone someone as unhinged as you. There's no love in her hearts for a villain. All of you, hush, hush. There's no point in wasting your breath. Please save all that breath. Now that Pixel Girl is here, all she has to do is join me. All alone. And then, the two of us will be off to a remade existence of my own design. Meanwhile, the rest of the Puzzle League will be placed ever so tenderly in some sort of pocket dimension. Where nothing can hurt you, and you can skip around and play all day without ever having to worry about life's problems. I don't want to work with you, villain. You kidnapped me and ruined my day off. And now you're threatening my friends and the people who live here. I have pixel puzzle powers, sure, but I'd never use them for the wrong reasons. Why don't you come down here, villain? In a five-on-one match, the Pixel Puzzle League would be glad to see your... Seven across, showy behavior, often meant to impress. Bravado. I do like those odds. We have enough heroes to corner him. In other words, we will end you. Try as you might, that door is locked. Up. The Puzzle Tower will serve as my solitary chambers until Pixel Girl enters willingly. She can't take along playmates. This isn't a cooperative game. If you're so set on getting her in there, then why'd you lock the door? No one can get in. Or out, unfortunately. I mean, you'll never apprehend me from out there. If you really want me, you'll have to break in by force. The clock is still ticking, Puzzle League. The next time I strike, without warning, innocent people will be hurt. Team, huddle up. This is clearly not going the way any of us intended. We need a new strategy, and fast. Why is he so confused on Pixel Girl? Uh, or why is he so confused on Pixel Girl out of the entire Puzzle League? Like, dude has some issues. Focused. Yeah, focused. Not confused. Got it. All right, map number two. What is that? What was that? Why were there, like, backwards? Okay. Oh, I guess it took me to the other, the other tabs or whatever. That door is locked, and we need a key or some other way in right now. Any ideas? I'm sure law enforcement will be of some assistance. Before I joined the League, I was uh, involved with the police. Did it involve handcuffs? Maybe it involved a cash bounty. It involved nothing of the sort. I simply have contacts inside the police force. Maybe Pixel Girl is the only one who can unlock the tower so he can get out. It's gotta be, right? I don't know. I'm very confused. Maybe, maybe we're the villain. Maybe Pixel Girl is the one doing all of this subconsciously. Great thinking. Let's talk to the police while the villain is still tossing out empty threats. Anyone else? On the same note, I might as well head to City Hall. The villain can't have just appeared here. He must have left a paper trail that we can track. There are public records I can request for us to dig through. City Hall's probably swamp, Sudoku. You'd probably head there right away. I know. I raids at noon anyways. Hmm? I feel like going on an adventure too. Y yeah, Pisea? Any extraterrestrial points of view you can show us? Okay, so she is an alien. I'm sure I can get to the top of something. Don't people normally get to the bottom of things? If I were a person, I probably would. Right. I think I'll head to the library and do some research. When your family's too poor to own a dog, you can always depend on the comfort of a dog-eared book. A dog -eared book. And I'll, um, you know, all your ideas sound pretty good, and I'm still the newbie hero with the villain being still at large. I, Hey, Pixel Girl, breathe easy. The villain has his sights set on you. As heroes, we're supposed to defend others, and each other. So from here on out, you're going to be assisting the whole team. Nets called the buddy system. It's less restrictive than the friend zone. Thanks, team. I'm still feeling dizzy from the shock of it all. The vertigo I'm getting from the puzzle tower isn't helping me either. Puzzle peeps, we can't let some venomous vagabond get us riddled. If we really do peep as much as we claim to, then let's flip right to the back of the book and look up the solution we need. I don't think we want to be seen as peepers, but I'm all for the right solution. Let's move out. I'll go with... I'm going to go with Sudoku again, because I want to see if it unlocks Sudoku. The puzzle maze is now unlocked. Solve bonus puzzle and unlock new theme. Use the button on the right to visit the maze. Oh, dope. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, I'm going to go with Sudoku. I'm sticking with Sudoku. We're going to go for a pure Sudoku run. I know Sudoku said she doesn't need help, but what if the public records are too musty? Or if she gets a paper cut or something. She needs me. Sudoku, I'll come with you. Where's Sudoku? Did she leave in a hurry again? Wait for me! There she is.
Right, we're down to nine minutes. We're down to nine minutes. Not a lot of time left. I like this music. Love the last part of a puzzle when the puzzle all comes together. The best part. Mr. Silly? <laughs> what? No, no, that's just an off-brand cartoon mascot. Keep doing your thing, mister. I need to look somewhere else. Over there, that must be her. Dude, I'm getting weird vibes. I'm getting weird vibes now from, from Sudoku. Why does she keep running off by herself? Why is she running so fast? Getting worried. Getting worried. I don't want to believe that I picked the bad person right from the get-go. almost just gave you guys a Danganronpa spoiler. Because I was going to say that I also picked that person. I didn't. I didn't. I was just very close. Boy with balloon. That's not her. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't realize that was your son. This is more of a super workout than I expected. Where could she be? If only she'd mentioned exactly where she was going. <laughs> Town Hall! All right, she's in front of City Hall. Ex exactly where she said she'd be. As soon as I spot her, the chase is back on. For someone who doesn't know she's being followed, Sudoku sure is fast. I'm practically running after her, but she's not breaking a sweat. Where exactly is she going? HQ is in the opposite direction. We're headed towards my house and Sudoku's house. I chased her all the way home. Right up to the front door, actually. I think I should have said something earlier. What are you doing at my house? Helping? I'm all good. I collected the records. And that's not a very big folder. Surprise, the government's incompetent. Aren't you coming back to HQ? Yeah, I just have to pick something up first. Suspicious. Ooh, she sus. Ooh, she sus. Okay, I'll wait here for you. No, go back. Because it's, it'll take a while for me to find the thing I'm looking for. I can help! No, it's really okay. I'll find the thing that I need, go back to HQ on my own, and then... This is stupid, I'm sorry. There's no thing. I came here to play Sweetheart Safari Online. You're going to play a video game while the city's in danger? <laughs> when you put it like that, I sound like a pretty bad person. Sudoku looks uncomfortable. 
My sense of justice demands that I start lecturing her on personal responsibility and superheroes, but my heart tells me to give it a rest. After the grim morning we had, it might actually be nice to relax. I'll keep your pit stop a secret on one condition, which is that I get to play too. Am I about to play an MMO? Time for games. Well, here we are. It's so neat in here. What exactly were you expecting? I don't know, more litter? Or neon lighting? I'm trying this new thing where I throw my trash in a can. This is where the magic happens. What magic? I don't know, I'm trying to diffuse the tension. There's no tension, let's play some games and stuff. Should I use this computer? Don't touch that. Okay, not that one. Sorry, let me get you my old laptop. You have two computers? No, I have three. Three computers? How many do you have? Err. Ooh, it's a toughie. This might be where we have to wrap up things, folks. I got three minutes. I got three minutes left on the clock. Oh, come on. I got in a rush. I did not. I did not. I'm hitting, I'm right clicking. You almost dropped it, Nate. Be careful. What did I almost drop? Your pocket. Almost did it. Nice. Yeah, that's where we got to wrap up, folks. We are having a meetup in Concord. So I have got to head out, play some games. Maybe 30 bats. Do you have a free day? Do you want to go to Concord? You're, you're quite a hike from there now, aren't you? Used to be closer. All right. Did it save? How do I save? I wish, man. Okay. I'm going to get stabbed for my allergy shot, and then I'll see you soon. See you, trombone. Conference, though? That's right. I'll be there. I'm doing the... I'm doing the... Um, I'm doing the... Um, whatchamacallit? What is it called? Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa. What? Oh, that was just the game company. It startled me. Um, I'm doing the D&D uh, &D at conference, so... If you want to sign up for it, I will be there. Same goes to you, Trombone. All right, I didn't sign up for that. You told me to for conference. There's still time. There's still time. I will be there. I'm signing up. I'm making it happen. At the very least, I'm going to go play some games. Maybe I'll bring Wingspan or something. But, yeah, I'm going to go play D&D &D with uh, the old church development guy. Dan Pizzat is, the, is now the DS of a conference. You should come to Well Played if you can. Tell me more about that. Let me know more about Well Played. Maybe 30 bat. Remind me later to sign up. I will try my best. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I am Nerd Pastor Nate. I am really a pastor. Board Game Cafe in Asheville. Half hour from conference. Dope. Very interested. Very, very interested. We'll see if it all works out. I will have my entire family, so it'll be a little tough to get out. But tempting. If not, uh, if not during conference, we should try and schedule a meetup in Asheville and see if we can get the LTN folks in, interested in that as well, North Carolina folks. Um, yes, we're really planting a church online on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Uh, excellent point Discord in the chat. If you want to get in on that, good action. We're always active over on the Discord. we got tons of stuff going on all the time. Lots of fun, good things. Uh, normally, I stream a little bit longer, but because i got to get to Concord, I'm going to head out now. Um, folks, we believe there's th three things to be true about every single one of you watching this at any point in time, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, regardless of whether or not you like church, dislike church, enjoyed this stream, didn't enjoy this stream, whether you like visual novels, even though that hurts me if you don't like visual novels. Um, none of those things change these three things that we believe be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter you're a person of sacred worth the world is a better place why because you are in it 
folks with that until the next time i see you sorry maybe 30 bats i gotta hop off so soon as soon as you join us but i appreciate you being here good to see you hope to catch you around sometime soon if not uh on the discord or on your stream or wherever it may be then at conference next week um and i'll see trombone in just a little bit sneaky pigs hopefully that coffee kicks in for you everybody else that was able to join us that may or may not still be here thanks for being here and until the next time that i see ya let's find me a raid i saw that trombone dropped somebody that was gonna that needed to be raided no worry dude good to see ya now normally on thursdays we'll stream till 11 30 so there's plenty of time plenty of time next time all right shash plays with a one Are they aware that their name is hard to type? All right, Shash Plays, uh, go spam some You Matters in the chat and uh, enjoy this raid and this time together. Four viewers ready to raid, good to go. Five viewers ready to raid, good to go. Three, two, one. Until the next time that I see you, be well. Bye-bye.